Hey everybody, it's Jason. This is Zombie Collector, if you didn't know. And I had a kind of surprise care package from none other than Dustin and Blake from Dustin and Blake Abraham, the channel that you all should be subscribed to. So apparently Dustin was involved in a Snodzilla break. And in his opinion, he pulled the short straw and got the Cincinnati Reds on the break. So he was like, hey, you're a Cincinnati Reds fan. I got something I'll send your way. Maybe you'll want it. I was like, yes, I would love to have your Cincinnati Reds. So I had no idea about it. I actually didn't even know Snodzilla did um, baseball. I thought he did football exclusively. I, that tells you what I know. So I'm going to probably try to get involved in Snodzilla stuff because I like doing breaks from time to time, especially if it's a product that I probably really can't afford to do a lot of buy-in, uh, but maybe you can pick up, if I can pick up the Reds, or if it's just like random, then I guess it'll just be for, for kicks and giggles. But Dustin reached out to me and said, hey, man, I got some Reds in your way. I don't want them. And it worked out nice because I've been putting away Kirby Puckets for him for a while now. Uh, and so I was like, this will be great. Now I'll get your um, address, and I'll get some Reds out of the deal. So... Uh, here's that. Then he put Mr. Zombie Collector. Uh, who in the hell would want these Reds cards? Dustin Abraham. P.S. Isn't Frankenstein technically a zombie? Discuss. So there is that. Zombie and Frankenstein. See, I don't believe Frankenstein technically is a zombie because he was brought back to life through science. Zombies are brought back to life via the earth, like the hell was too full. And so the dead will walk the earth. Kind of like what they talk about Don and the dead, you know, when there's no more room in, when there's no more room in hell, the dead will walk the earth. Or you can look at it as a, some kind of, um, uh, disease or some kind of, uh, you know, uh, disease that affects the bodies once they die. Or you could say there's some kind of chemical, you know, that might have been, uh, that was released that turned the dead back to life. You know, there might be some kind of, you know, uh, uh, some kind of nefarious, either uh, supernatural thing or, or uh, like I said, chemical kind of thing from like military. But I feel like Frankenstein would be a, is not a zombie because he was created through science with a mix of parts. It wasn't the same person. Frankenstein was put together, where a zombie is its still the same person, but now I've taken the shape of a zombie. But it's a good discussion. I like it. But that's my off-the-cuff kind of thinking of Mr. Frankenstein. Remember, now, it's Frankenstein's monster, because Frankenstein is Dr. Frankenstein. If we're talking about the monster, we always say Frankenstein's monster. Now, I know that's, you might not have put that on there, and I know, obviously I know what you're alluding to. That's like a little known fact because people go, oh, it's Frankenstein. Well, if you go, oh, it's Frankenstein, that would be the monster. That's the doctor, not the monster. So you got to specify, right? So let's take a look here and see what I received from Mr. Dustin Abraham. So let me show you all. There's like a nice stack of cards. And then I got a few inserts, which is great. Got a Barry Larkin, which I obviously did not have. So we got the Barry Larkin. We got the Yasiel Puig. His bat started to come to life a little bit. You know, I thought for sure, as I think a lot of Reds fans thought, he would just be killing it at Great American Small Park. But, um, you know, we're about halfway through the season, and he's just now kind of getting going. So we'll see. If I know the Reds, they'll probably end up getting rid of him around the time of uh, uh, All-Star break. Jose Peraza, shortstop. Really, he's been doing really well. And the, their defense have actually been doing really well. Their pitching has been doing really, really well. Like some of the top pitching in the all of baseball, which is unusual to say for the Reds because usually the Reds are like near, near the end, the, the bottom of the list. But really their hitting has been the bottom of the list, uh, list recently. We got Tyler Mail. You'll see a theme with Tyler. Apparently Tyler Mail was a – a huge uh, addition to uh, Panini Prism, which is the product that I have. 
because his cards show up multiple times today. Then we got Joey Votto, Michael's favorite player. Big fan of Michael there. Then we got Scooter Jeanette. Got a couple of scooters. He's been injured, but I believe he's he's come back from his uh, being on the injured list, or he's about ready to come back. So he hopefully is back on track. Then we got Enwinio uh, Suarez, and he's just been on fire. He has been actually the spark plug for the Reds um, as far as hitting. He's one of the few bright spots along with uh, Peraza. Uh, if I'm not, uh, they, those two guys have been doing pretty good. Then we have five, count them five, Luis Castillo. You know, the way he's going, he might end up being Cy Young. He might be the Cy Young winner. So having five of uh, uh, Luis Castillo cards, I'm okay with that. There could be way worse situations to be in. He's just been lights out. I mean, he just got done beating the um, uh, St. Louis Cardinals last night. So we could beat the Cardinals two or three times in a row. We can actually get ourselves back in a, a little bit of the mix because we've been, aside from like the first day of baseball this year, the Reds have been in last place every day. And and it's not because they suck. They just haven't got their hitting going. They're, they're going spurts. They'll have like a couple of games where they're really starting to look like a team and hitting and pitching. And they'll have two or three games where they're barely winning or they lose. And uh, very few times they get blown away or even getting beat bad. They're, like, usually losing or somebody else comes back and beats them in the last inning or two. That's happened to them a couple times this year. So there you go. So here we have uh, uh, the parallel sets. Here is we have a uh, Scooter Jeanette Red. We have a uh, Ewinio Suarez red. Then we have a uh, Ewinio Ewino. I know, it doesn't seem like everybody says it a different way. Ewino Ewinio Suarez blue. Then we have a uh, Scooter Jeanette blue. Then we have a Tyler Mel green, yellow, mo something or another, mojo or something. So this is a green and yellow. Um, there's that one. And then we have two of the same card. These are actually numbered. This is a maybe blue mojo numbered to 399. And it's 307 to 308 back to back. So they, were, they put them both in the same box. Which makes you wonder, I don't know if this was a box break or a case break. It had to be a case break, I guess. Uh, because, you know, they the, if it was a box, that really sucks for a Reds fan. Because they got two the exact same card, one one serial number apart. And the exact same one and the exact same player. So you have that one. And then I have a rookie card. And I don't think he's been playing yet with the Reds. And I could be wrong. I looked him up online as far as... Um, training card database, and he's not yet in there uh, for this specific card. But it's a red autograph rookie of Tanner Rainey. And it's a um, sticker. If you look, you can tell it's a sticker card. I think that kind of shows it. But at least at least it's somewhat you can make it out. The T there and then the Rainey here. So, I mean, I mean, we've seen so many ones where people will just put, like, like literal circles or like a squiggly line, which is like a like a poor man's M or a W or whatever. So I always give it to uh, good old Tanner that he at least put together the uh, uh, three or four letters that kind of make sense. But here's it's not numbered, and it's uh, Tanner Rainey. And the autograph is guaranteed by Panini. So there you go. That's for uh, that one. So I don't know. If he turns out to be a great prospect, that's a good card to have. And not, it's a great card for my collection because it's a red and it's an autograph. I'm never going to say no to a red autograph. So, you know, I can't I can't be hating on any of that. <clears throat> so, anyways, guys, that is it. Make sure you check out Dustin and Blake's channel. And it, again, it's Dustin and Blake. Um, but, yeah, Dustin Abraham, thanks a lot. I know that 
Uh, your garbage is my treasure. And uh, definitely check out also Snodzilla Breaks, sports card and memorabilia. You can find him at, at Snodzilla Breaks on YouTube. Same for fa uh, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. It looks like it's the same across the board. All caps. I don't know if that makes a difference or not. And uh, SnodzillaBreaks.com is where I believe you can sign up. I think somebody was telling me you can go to sign up for his uh, breaks on his website and get signed up. So maybe you can look at the future, which I'll do after I do this video, future uh, breaks that he may do. So uh, thank you again, Dustin. I greatly appreciate it. Snodzilla, thank you, Patrick. I really appreciate it, man. Uh, like I said, I appreciate the, uh, the Reds. And until next time, peace, love, and a little bit of prim.